on outer rings. Huh, interesting. A thousand beads and a mint 30. So I've got more time for less beads, which means this one's probably not going to be as fast-paced. I don't even remember what outer rings is like. Oh! It's the rocket level! Holy crap! And we could not have ended on more epic music than this, I tell you what. Alright, guys. Last minigame, savor it while you can. I don't know, I'm probably not going to get this first try, no matter what I do here. Because this, these freaking things... Oh my god, I think these are hurtling like a lot faster than they normally do. I don't remember how fast they normally hurtle, though, so that's not a certainty. Ugh! And there's crap in the background coming out of the background. Oh my god. Whoa, I forgot about you guys. I'm not doing too bad, I don't think. I'm kind of I kind of messing up the, with these things with this. Oh, I do remember this because this is, I was like talking about Galaga or something when I did this. That's totally Galaga. You can't tell me that's not. Oy. Oh, not more of these assholes. Hey, no. Ugh. God, I hate these freaking... These things have just become one of my worst nightmares in this in the last little bit of this freaking game. Oh my god, that's a lot of beads. A lot of beads if I have a sot. Oh my god. How am I avoiding any of this? This is so crazy. Well, I'm well up over half at least, so that's a good sign. I don't want to speak too soon though. Of course, whenever you're, in LP, whenever you're LPing, it's always too soon to speak. That's just the fact that you have to live with. I see, I'm telling you. Oh god, that's just catastrophic. Wait, I might be able to get this. Come on! Dude, I'm just a few beads short! A few beads short of a freaking field day there. This is gonna be a fun one, though. I like this. I mean, look, I'm losing all these beads off the bottom of the screen and everything. I don't, no, I just have to believe in myself. Come on, don't be so pessimistic, dude! You're taking it up the ass, but you gotta be confident in your abilities. Do this! Don't don't stray off to the side like you did before with this. Stay in the freaking middle. And maybe you can not suck so much. Oh, damn it. Oh, I sucked even more. Wait, no, I had 987 there, I think. 987 beads. What a freaking coincidence. And also, what a shame. 13 beads away. Or maybe it was 100. Maybe I was 113 beads. I couldn't tell if it was a 9 or an 8. I'm uh, 810. Yeah, that's pretty horrible. Lovely, lovely, horrid, lovely. Okay. <laughs> Man, I can't believe this is actually taking a lot longer than the freaking Halberd one did. I thought that one was going to be a lot worse somehow, but... I guess this is the last minigame, so... You had to figure that they would screw you quite a lot here. As much as they possibly can, you know? I can memorize these formations. I could do this so well, I tell you. I'm starting to get a little bit of a hang of memory on these, though. Oi! Not for these ones are freaking. These these patterns are too random to memorize some of them. I did pretty good there, at least. I got three of those lines, all of them. Three of the full. And you guys are pretty easy. All right, now these freaking things. I want to stay up top here, so as not to totally screw myself at the bottom of the screen, so I can recollect all the beat. Yeah, there we go. See, you're doing good, dude. Just careful, careful not to focus too hard on getting those bees, and uh, watch out for the beams while you're getting the beads. Holy crap! Look at all this crap at the top here. Wait, oh my god, I'm at 947! Holy crap! I didn't even see that. Damn, I got this right, like, right here in the freaking two-thirds of the way through- Well, more than two-thirds, more like seven-eighths of the way through the stage, but still. Damn, I went from going- Not getting like that at all. Or like, just barely missing it, to getting it way before the end. Who'd have thunk I'd have such a dramatic bipolar shift? Thanks a lot, Kirby, that was really fun! I found this- Yay! Ooh, that's pretty. I like it. It's the ringed planet fabric. Cool, yo. Alright, so now... That's almost everything in this freaking game. Do you believe that, you guys? So I am probably talking in the last episode of this, of this LP right now, so I don't even know... 
Oh, this is going to be great, though. So, there's only two things left for me to do. First thing, I have to go back to the halberd and get that treasure that I missed. And then the last thing is I have to wait for Beedrix to come into my pad and give me the last fabric. So, I guess um, one thing leads to the other, so... Back to the halberd we go. I don't even know if I'm going to cut any of this out, so I'm just going to talk all the way through. Alright, battleship halberd. Here we go. So I presume that this treasure is earlier in the stage than the first treasure that I found. Because it like normally they go in chronological order of the like the screen like that. So I gotta keep my eyes peeled here. Man. <laughs> this is gonna feel so much like slower now just because of that freaking minigame. Still gonna be hard, but it's gonna be a lot slower, it seems. Yeah, see, these guys did shoot, shoot in straight lines. I was right. But in the minigame, they all shot in, like, weird angles. And it was so annoying. Anything down there? Anything in here? Uh, I'm trying to just search every every loose area that I can. In the hopes that one of them will lead to this treasure. Okay, oh my god. I just ran headlong into that. <laughs> Whatever. Not too worried about it, because I don't need to worry about beads anymore. Not for the rest of my damn life. Or at least not for the rest of this damn LP. <laughs> Alright, come on. There it is! Oh my god, it's the Galaxia Sword! Holy crap, keeping this sword around will make you dashing and decorative. That's kind of cool how the last treasure we get is the last, like, patch that we had gotten to. The one that unlocked this freaking level. Yeah, so that's... I remember that before, too. The first time I went through this level, I hit that... I destroyed that cannon. I'm like, oh, we probably just dropped a bead or something. Nothing important. But, lo and behold. Alright, so I guess I have to um, finish up the level here really quick before I can actually con consider this a success. But, you guys have probably seen enough of this level to last a lifetime. Especially with that freaking minigame. So, I will meet you at the end, I suppose. Oh man, I missed all the patches. Oh well. Oh, well, not all of them, I mean. But... Yay! <laughs> I get the gray area. That doesn't matter, though, because I got the gold medal, anyways. Not that that matters either. All that matters is that's the last treasure. The freaking Galaxia Sword. I love it, man. Freaking love it. And that's the Battleship Halberd. 100% clear. Speaking of 100%, are we about to get that here? I've come over to play. Oh my god, that's the last one. Nice job, you completed stuff. <laughs> that sounds like a weird way to phrase things, but he's not incorrect grammar-wise, technically, even though it sounds like he is. That's so weird, because stuff in that context is a proper name, but, like, you wouldn't think of it normally that way. All right. Beadrix, lay it on me, hun. You've got my last fabric, I know you do. I don't even know if, if anything is really going to happen once I get, like, the last of everything. Maybe I'll talk to that, like, apartment guy. Hi, sorry if I'm interrupting. Do you want to go out and play, Kirby? What a lovely room you have here. Wow, I really like it. It's nice. Daw, shucks. Oh, I almost forgot. I brought I bought a present. Oh, jeez. I brought a present for you, Kirby. I hope you like it. It's a reward for all of your hard work and all of our fun play, too. Too. Oh, my God. Hiccups. And there's the Beatrix fabric. Finally, man. Put me through hell and high water, Beatrix. Nice, you completed fabric! No way! That rocks. That rocks! Mm, so what do you have to say for yourself now, Dom Wool? You got anything to say to me? There is no finer apartment building in the land. I challenge you to find one. Thank you so much for all your help, Lord Kirby. You're welcome, dude. So that's it, isn't it? I would presume so. Did I just... Do what I think I did? 100%! 100%! Oh my god, look at this! It's glorious! <laughs> I never thought I'd get here. You know, freaking year and a half later, but here it is. Looks like we did it, guys. Let's see here. Yeah, look at this. That was almost really cool. Oh 
Oh man, I love this. This is so neat. Oh god. Well guys, I guess that's the end of Kirby's Epic Yarn. I do have like a sort of bonus thing planned. Not necessarily a bonus episode, I guess, but there's one thing I thought I have left to do, so that'll come up uh, later. Anyways. Um, so yeah, this is the end of, a, of an era, almost. Oh god, I can't believe it's actually over. Like, this is not gonna settle in for a long time that this thing is actually over. It's actually over. Damn. Well, I guess my general thoughts on this LP, it's been a hell of a ride. We've had the freaking Wii crashing and all that stuff, and just how much I've evolved over time. Not just from this game, I mean a lot from this LP I've evolved, yeah, but it's been... I've just been through so much stuff during the course of this. Like, this is... I don't know if any of you remember, this is actually my 1,000 subscriber special LP. And now I'm at over 3,000 subscribers. Like, seriously. And the freaking... Just all these things that happened in my life throughout this. The whole Sydney saga, that all came and went throughout this... While this thing was going. That's remarkable. This game should not have taken this long, but... I, I for one, am glad that it took this long. It was just an epic, grand thing. Oh, so that's really cool. My thoughts on the game itself, um... Really, really well done game. I think a lot of people d didn't seem to really like this game for some reason, because, like, I guess for the reasons that it takes away Kirby's signature abilities, is two, that, like, he can copy enemies' abilities by sucking them in, and he can float. Like, those were his two, those were the two things that Kirby had, those were his gimmick. And they took those away in this game, and people were like, well, what the fuck? It's like, that's, how can you do that? But I think that was actually a really good idea. Because then they had to focus more on the gameplay of it to make it good, rather than rely on some silly gimmicks t to draw the crowd. And they did spectacularly. Like, if this, if this had been anything other than Kirby, it would have been just as good. It's just the fact that it is Kirby that makes it just that mo much more adorable. Anyways, so, um, yeah. Don't have much else to say here. Thank you everyone oh so much for watching all these crazy antics i know it's been a wild ride for all of us and it's time to finally put it to rest so i hope you've enjoyed watching let's play kirby's epic yarn this is argon matrix signing out of this lp for the last time thank you and good night <laughs>